Okay, lot number three then is this little selection that you can see in front of me here. What we've got, we've got two different bass types. We've got a lot of different um, disc types available here. Two different washer sizes, which as you can see already, are not in their bases, which I guess means that it allows you to change the weight inside the bases if you want to. A single figure type we have available here. Um, these guys were, for me, the pioneers of the U-Paint revolution in Subuti RK. Okay, now, back in the day when there was the Subuti Club, you might have heard me talk about this on the Subuti show with um, Stu and Watsi and Steven. Um, Back in the day when we had the Subutio Club, there used to be meets, about four or five swap meets and fairs every single year. Um, and I remember really distinctly when Zwego first appeared. Um, it was a bit of a revolution really, because before that it was just old vintage stuff you could get. So vintage heavyweight stuff, or the lightweights, Hasbro's, etc, etc. Zwego came along out of nowhere with these hand-painted teams brand spankers of new kits. I've still got my AC Man Away kit, which I absolutely love, but I bought so many when these first came out. I thought they were so cool because they were so different and they were like, as I said, they were pioneers. And then they bought out their U-Paint range. Um, and as I said, they were the first, that I, they may not be the first ever to do it, but they were the first that I remember bringing out a U-Paint range back in the day. And again, it changed Everything changed the game for me. Without Zwego, there would be no Westwood Table Soccer because th that was where I started. I started painting Zwegos because before it was get a heavyweight Ref 21, paint it, rebase it. And that's a lot, a lot of people did and probably still do um, now. But there's obviously you can buy a brand new now and get it out there as you've seen. So these guys for so much respect and I've got a lot of love for these guys despite them not being my favorite figure types. That being said, this figure type here is a massive upgrade on what I had, what they used to produce back then. I still feel like their heads are a little bit too big, um, but they do have that molding on the hairline, which I prefer over that of the 2K4. I will do a comparison of all of these guys together at the end of this video. So I'm just gonna talk about um, the individual guys that are here at the moment, but they are really, really nice. What I like about them is they're really, really symmetrical and they've got a pretty cool stance. I like the stance. Um, they're quite smooth on the back. They do have um, that little circle indent in the back, which comes from the molding process. Um, their arms are sort of spread out away from their body, which is nice for painting, ideal for painting. I'm looking forward to giving these guys a go on the painting, you know, because like I said, I haven't painted this way go figure for a really, really long time. Um, I feel like they sit a little bit taller than the Santiago, but again, we will check that out when we come to it. Now, there are two different base types we've got here okay we've got this flatter profile base type and we've got the classic bowl base type so these guys i would imagine are a bit more like your flat slidey slidey professional style bases and then you've got these guys here which are more aimed at your sort of traditional old subutio rules guys the discs are universal that i think is brilliant that i think is absolutely fantastic that they've managed to create two different base types okay that accept the same discs one it makes life easier for them and it makes life easier for the painter that's going on to the website to pick these things up and they're not like well what discs do i need which ones are compatible etc etc so i love that it's like a universal disc range and two base types in terms of the weights i think that the weights the little weights go inside um, the bowl bases. I don't think you can get one of these big washers in here, but let's have a little bash. No, you can't. It doesn't sit in the recess. It slides around. So let's just have him out of there. Um, so these bigger washers go into the flatter bases. I've only got four washers, but that's okay. One of them is just going to be unweighted. I'm not going to play with them, so it doesn't really matter. So what it does give you the option of is either going unweighted completely. Maybe you don't want your players weighted. Maybe you want a mixture of different weights in your bases because you could if you really wanted to you could put one of these lighter weights inside here you would just have to get it centered how you wanted it but then you'd have you've got the option there for three different weights on the professional style flat bases um with these heavyweight guys i think you might be able to double stack you know Let's have a little look. Can you double stack in that little recess? Yes, you can. So you can if you wanted to. Again, this is great freedom. So for anyone who really, really likes to play around with 
their weights and how heavy and light they have their teams. This is actually brilliant. I love this. It's a brilliant idea. So this guy, I've got a double stack base, a double stack washer in here, a single washer. You've got no washer in this one over here. You could have no washers in any of these. With these guys, there's not space to double stack with your washers, but you do have the option still of three different weight options. You can go no this or no washer, one washer, or maybe even put one of these smaller washers in there. If you center it up nice, it'll be lovely. But yeah, I love that. What a cool little feature that is. So having that freedom, I think will be great for the guys that play. I think that's super, super cool. Lovely little feature. Got a lot of time for that as an idea, actually. So that's brilliant. Didn't know that. Literally just found that out just then as I was putting them in. I thought, oh, there's a little bit of extra space there. Um, Colours-wise, I like them. Um, I'm not overly keen on this light blue colour. I don't think it's blue enough. I think it's a little bit too green. I like the purple. I think the purple's cool. My only other criticism um, straight off the bat here is the black and the navy. Now, I'll try and get you guys a better image of this, but this is the navy and this is the black. For me... This navy blue is just too dark. It's almost, it's pretty much black. It's so close together that I just don't think it's going to make enough of a difference um, if you were doing them as a paint job. Um, the red's a little bit of a strange red as well, but I don't dislike it. I love the dark green. The purple's pretty cool. The blue, maybe not quite dark enough. I like a royal blue, but I absolutely love these. I think these are superb. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to painting these. So that, like I said, guys, that is the Zwego range of stuff you can get um two different base types i said the flatter base type and the classic um bowl base type weighting options you can have these any three different weights you want straight off the bat without having to mess and do any diy you've got the washer sizes and options available and there's enough of a recess inside here to double stack which i think is an absolute game changer i love that you can double stack in here because I know a lot of people play around with their weights and their figures and their bases to so that option to double stack. And as I said before, I love that these guys have the option uh, sort of a universal disc um, option going around and they do have like an extra sort of bit here in the slot. Not 100% sure why that exists, but I'm going to say it's to add strength because now that whole bar, as you can see, is enclosed in this side area here so they're going to be nice and strong these guys pop him into there and yeah so we've got the zwego flat there he's got a little bit of a forward lean on him okay that's something i wasn't expecting let's get this let's just pop this yellow into there yellow in yellow not going to bother with the weight so far and that's how they look on the classic um upright so yeah they're very tall they stand up very straight very tall very traditional looking Sabutio figure sort of style over here and the flatter style here. In terms of actual height, they're not a lot lower, you know. They're not massively lower, these flat bases. They've just got a much bigger surface area on the bottom, so designed massively for the sliding. Um, I will give these guys a little bash with a ball as well at some point in the series, maybe in their own individual episode to see how it goes and then compare them. But yeah, I think these guys are cool. Real nice setup. In terms of putting them together, obviously you are going to have to glue these weights in. So super glue under there, put your weight in, then you're going to put whatever disc you want in there. So I've got the navy one here. Um, as I said, it's such a close comparison. Obviously the reason you glue is to avoid that because nothing is held in there perfectly tight. That's even not you staying in there. Let's use another one. Go white. Pop him in there. And then obviously your figure goes in on top. Oh, they can be a little bit tight as well. So there's something to just be aware of. Similarly with the super footies, you don't want to force. Okay, you want to try and work your figures and your bases together. If you start forcing and you start giving too much pressure um, and you start putting too much force through it, you will have a few issues. But yeah, so these are actually pretty cool. Let me move this out of the way. Like them. Looking forward to playing around with these a little bit more in the meantime to see how they paint. And as I said, later on, we'll get a goal out, we'll get a ball out, and we'll try them all. We'll try them all out. I'll, I'll glue some weight in, and we'll see what happens. So that is them straight off the bat. That's where you go. Available at Subutio World. Love it.